Hey everyone, this is Ryan with Geneva Fitness and today's video is all about um, proper breathing and how improving your breathing can definitely improve not only your posture, um, your energy levels, but also your overall health. Um, decreasing stress levels throughout the day. Breathing is, is your tool to help improve your life and help you take control of, of your health and your fitness um, by regulating your breathing. So the one thing that, that happens quite frequently when we get stressed out is we breathe with our chest, okay? Now breathing with our chest <sighs> creates a huge amount of tension in our neck and our shoulders, creating headaches, all kinds of different things like that. Um, we're not getting enough oxygen for our organs. The whole body functions at suboptimal levels when we're breathing with our chest. Now the way we want to breathe is with our diaphragm. And breathing with our diaphragm is basically filling up our tummy with the air as opposed to breathing in our chest. And there's a couple other ways that we can improve breathing in our tummy um, by breathing in, so inhaling with our nose, and when you exhale, breathing out with your mouth. Okay, so every inhalation, every breath in is through your nose with your mouth closed. Every breath out is with your mouth. Okay, now I'm going to show you a couple different uh, progressions to start with uh, diaphragmatic breathing or breathing with your diaphragm in ways that you can implement it into your day at any point. Um, you also get, uh, you know, your, your diaphragm is, is one of your deepest core muscles, so you can definitely train. Um, some, some of your core muscles, your deep diaphragm, your pelvic floor, by using good diaphragmatic breathing, okay? So we'll get right into it. I'll show you some different, uh, different ways that you can get started. And, you know, if, if this is, is something that you, you're familiar with, maybe it's a good reminder for you to start breathing more frequently throughout the day with the diaphragm. You know, and the breathing is one thing that we can control and that happens automatically. That's why it's taken for granted because it is, it happens automatically. So we need to start taking control of our breath um, so we can improve uh, our overall health and how we function throughout the day. All right, so we're gonna get started um, by lying on the ground, oh, on the ground, on a bed, lying down basically. So we're gonna take that lying down position. Now in this position, you know, breathing can be meditative as well. It's, it's very clearing um, for the head, um, just to, to kind of relax you and de-stress you. So this lying position, you can do it in the morning as a great start to your day. You can do it in the evening, right before you go to bed as well, okay? So what you're gonna do, arms gonna be at your side, nice and relaxed. You can just let your, your feet kind of hang to the side as well. Now, if you're, if you're just starting out and you're having issues, you know, getting this, this good belly breathing, you can put something on your chest and something on your stomach, even if it's your hands, maybe like a shoe on your chest and on your stomach, just to give you a visual of what's going on with your breathing. So, what you want to want to do is take that big breath in through your nose. You want to fill up that tummy as much as you can, so you want all the air in the tummy, none in the chest. Big breath out through the mouth. Try to take that belly button to the spine and ribs, try to take those ribs down to the top of your hips as well. In through the nose, out through the mouth. You want to try to fill it in as much as you can in that tummy and get that big breath out. Just starting out, you might have some trouble getting a long breath in or a long breath out and that's okay. It's going to take some time if you're a bit dysfunctional with your breathing. Okay, It's going to take some time to get you out of that chest breathing. But once you start changing that pattern right there, you know, just lying down, things are going to go a whole lot better. Especially when you're exercising, this is a good way for you to improve your recovery 
um, and improve um, any time that you're exercising, whether it's running, whether it's uh, strength training, resistance training, cycling, whatever it is, breathing into the nose and out through the mouth, you're utilizing a deeper breath than you would if you're just in your chest. Okay, so the first position is our laying down position. Now, it gets a little bit more difficult as we go into seated position. Now, this is something that we're in most of the day, if you work in the office, if you're driving in the car. So this is a good way for us to help improve um, our posture, our breathing, improve everything by being in the seated position, which is not an ideal position to be in most of the day, as I'm sure you're all aware. So once again, change the position you're in. You're not gonna be able to belly breathe like this. You got nothing going on, so you're gonna have to change your posture automatically, which is great, okay? Especially if we're at that computer position all day. We wanna sit nice and tall. Big breath in, fit up that tummy. Big breath out, ribs going down, belly button to the spine. Now, if you're in the office, you might get some strange look from colleagues if you're making a lot of noise while you're breathing. You don't need to make a lot of noise. Don't even need a big breath out of the mouth. Just take your time with it. Really focus on filling up that tummy. You can put one hand on your tummy as you're doing this. Now you can do this for a couple minutes. It doesn't need to be done very long. You can space this throughout the day. Um, several, excuse me, several intervals throughout the day until you become a lot better and it becomes more automatic. So every time that you're breathing, you're breathing functionally through your diaphragm, okay? You know, if, if you have, uh, have issues trying to remind yourself, set an alarm, set something that, that will, will cue you to practice your breathing. Morning and evening rituals, lying down doing it is great, um, but it's gonna help improve your day, increase your energy, help you feel better, clear your head, if you can utilize this throughout the day as well. Now the last position you're gonna do is just standing up. A little bit more difficult, so if you're waiting for a bus, if you're waiting for someone, Now this is your exercise recovery position as well. You could be out for a run, you're at a stoplight. You have those good breaths to help lower that heart rate, help you get that oxygen back so you're ready to go on that next bout. If you're doing circuit training, whatever it is, your rest period, you're standing tall, getting that body ready to go for the next round. Big breath in through the nose, out through the mouth, Keep it all in the tummy, okay? So that's a good way just to start off that, that diaphragmatic breathing. Now, once you have kind of mastered those positions, you can start getting a little bit more, a little bit more in depth with it and really start timing your breath. So from this lying down position, I like to do this lying down. So once again, you can kind of just let everything relax. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to time my inhalation, time my breath in. So I'm gonna take a big breath in, do about a four second count. And then when I get to that end of the inhalation, I'm gonna hold, I'm gonna pause for a second with no breath, just hold it. Then breathe out for a count of four. Hold it for one second at the end of that as well. Breathe in for four, hold for a second. Breathe out for four, hold for one second. And keep going back and forth for that. Don't need to do a lot with that, especially starting out. Do about three or four rounds of that, and then, then build it up to you know a couple minutes, working five minutes if you have the time. But that just gets that diaphragm working a little bit more, so you're training that diaphragm, you're getting it strong, you're helping that body get the proper oxygen for it to function a whole lot better. So there you go. 
some, some points, some tips, some techniques that you can use to improve your breathing, improve your health, um, increase your energy levels, help you de-stress. Your breath is the one thing that, that is taken for granted, but that you can take control of today to help improve your lifestyle and help you live a better life. All right? If you have any questions, please leave them, uh, leave them down below. We love to hear your comments as well. Have a great day. Thank you.